All right, we're live. I'm only I'm only ten minutes late, though. Oddly enough, I was almost twenty minutes early, but then, but then I decided I'll be ten minutes late. Let me pull latest. They're on. Which is, I'm, I'm just, I've settled, that's what I'm calling you from now on, so. So just get used to that pronunciation, they're on. They're on, thank you for the follow. Wait, no, enough, thank you for the follow. I'm off to a great start. I need more caffeine. They're on, just hello, just hello. Thank you for the follow, like, forever ago, whenever the hell that happened. Um, bullet catcher, what's going on? Life water, hello, chest sold, oh no, am I done pulling? Oh no. No, don't import assets. I clicked on Unity while pulling. That's never good. Hey, Orange Bean. Melis, Talet, Liz, Biscuits, Goblin. Thudev, OD, Quixana. You guys are you guys are more timely than I am today. All right, did I do something bad? I could have sworn there was something bad that can happen when uh, when clicking on Unity while pulling. I guess we'll see in a second. You're watching Unite 2023 and just finished up as I finished as I popped up. Oh, cool. Learn anything special and new. What's up, John? They're going to have a machine learning kind of dialogue system at some point, which allows you to have NPCs generating conversations based on your game. That just, that seems like one of those things you just let somebody else make and you ensure that it integrates well with your, with your tools. If I was running Unity, what I would focus on is just making sure that Unity worked really, really well and that the support for uni Unity is super stellar and that everybody else's third-party shit integrates really well with Unity. But I'm fairly smooth brain and don't run Unity, so... Yeah, but machine learning. The board wants to know what we're doing with AI and machine learning. The board is curious about what we're doing to stay ahead of the curve the board recently saw what the other company is doing and is curious what we're going to be doing that's similar to what the other company is doing. Can What is our answer for the board? Can we get that put into a presentation that is not, not more than three slides, but not fewer than two slides? And can we use language that's not confusing for the board? Pessimistic squid. Yeah. In integrating to NFTs. Your streams like a 90 sitcom. I have to wait till next week to see what's new. No instant gratification like streaming the whole season on Netflix feels good. That is a very interesting uh, way of looking at it. I might have I might have borked things by clicking on Unity prematurely. We'll see. The board fired all the worker drones in anticipation of AI doing their jobs. We don't 
we know it doesn't work to that capacity yet, but you'll, we know you'll manage until then. Yeah, that sounds like something that could happen, Redeker. <clears throat> oh, sorry, I just got completely distracted by something Zukin did five minutes ago in Slack, and I'm like, oh, that looks pretty cool. I'm not going to show you, but... Ah, I see what's going on. All right, come on, Unity. Speaking of Unity... Hey Darius. What's up, pessimistic squid? I saw you creeping up there. I'm waiting I'm waiting for the first thing that we do, and I've already got something I've already got something in mind that well one day we'll announce or whatever, and you guys are gonna go, what is this? It's what are you doing? Is it a deviation? Nope. It's been the plan all along. We just didn't tell you about it. We don't tell you everything. What? They didn't tell us everything? I am now on the anti Eminem bandwagon. Those bastards. They weren't, they weren't open and transparent enough. They didn't tell us everything. Orange Bean. I, I still like the idea that you guys came up with in here of us making a golf game. Saw the video Robert posted in Discord earlier today it was so rad. Super rad. You know what? I'll play it real quick. While Unity is doing nothing in the background. I probably broke it. Uh, it was in... There it is. I'm gonna download it. Okay, lives in tar. Unity is not liking me. I did that. I messed it up. John, you did send a meme about the golf game. All right, let me pause our playlist music. Wait, this has got music. Full blast music. Unity, you better not pop up. You. Stop trying to get on my screen, Unity. Hey, Nicodemus. Oh my gosh, it's loud. It's super loud. This isn't making it any lower. Okay, that's good. I'm going to play it one more time. Just because I can't get this damn thing to... Why does this thing at the bottom not go away? You son of a bitch.
know what this tells me? It tells me that we need more big ass honking huge zones. That's what this tells me. It looked awesome seeing people running along like little little ants. Alright, cool. Looks like Unity did not implode. Pessimistic, pessimistic squid said, yes, big impressive zones or just big ones, just big ones. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Where was that? Um, that was in the block out for Vale of Zintar. The zone formerly called like, if you watch the old streams, the old, old streams, that was Death Valley. Back when I was naming it the most generic thing I could think of, which I still kind of like. Theldrin said, I know I was blown away with how vast the zones felt during the stress test. Death of Zint, the death, ah, Zukin, death of Vintar, or Zintar, either one. Kind of like, that's a cool name though. That'll have to be a story, the death of Zintar. We should make sure we don't forget to add that to Confluence. We'll write up the story. All right, I'm going to play with boats a little bit. Uh, Ollie was showing me boats earlier and I want to make my boat work. I added a boat and it just, it just sits there like a big stupid. Uh, you're not going to see it because, well, maybe you should be able to see it if I load statics. But anyways, let me hit play. Redicur said boats and hose. You guys are getting a little too spicy. You're getting a little too sassy. This is what happens when I started cursing a little bit more. Now everybody thinks this is some PG-13 shit here. Listen, you're not on Zookin stream. We have rules here. We have rules. Also goblin stream. Is it, is it just Pattis and I who are the pillars of the community? <sighs> I'm going to have to talk to Pat, Pattis. We're going to have to just, we're going to have to try to hold it down while Goblin and Zoo can get everybody all riled up and out of control. A little too randy, a little too sassy. Unlike Zukin, I don't have a little fart button where you can push it. That said, I am typically pretty gassy by the time streams roll around because for me it's 821 and I had about two kilos of cauliflower and some delicious salmon. Pattis and Robot are the moral compasses keeping the party headed true north. Yes, we are very moral. Zukin and Goblin are they are immoral. Goblin, he just curses up a storm. Feel attacked, but honestly on point. <laughs> at least you at least you're self-aware, Goblin. In Farish. In Farish. I'm going to get it right one of these days. Uh. Itra said, the ocean is making me thirsty. Well, then you're in the right stream because everybody in here is a little thirsty for some M&M. &M. Am I right? Am I right? Thirsty? Isn't that what the kids say? <laughs> responses yes yes we are terribly thirsty master <laughs> we can taste it master terribly thirsty I wish I could do the golem voice wait a second was that even Zukin I was talking to up there or was that Zarkin I just for some reason I, I thought I was talking to Zukin Zarkin, we're going to probably have to change your name.
I don't need you coming in here and confusing me, making me think of Zukin. When is Azarkin? Hey, Spamlings. No Z names. No Z names in here. I, I'm too easily confused. Zukin was talking to himself on his stream. Oh, um, you said Goblin. Son of, I just got Zukin on the mind. So during the playtest, I tried slash look and nothing happened. Is there a command to get your coordinates? And I just missed it. Lorix asked. No, there is no uh, there is no command for you guys to do that. We have it because we use it in development, um, but you do not and will not have access to that as a player. It's too powerful. What? I said it. Um, I've been playing. I'm gonna switch to this guy because I like him. He makes me comfortable. You're good for ma map making and finding corpses? Yep. That's why we're not giving it to you. What? You can't do that. Will Bards uh, still get a locate corpse song? Probably. We'll put in we'll put in a number of mechanisms to help you find your corpse and recover your corpse. But we do want to make it so that that whole you know that you need those mechanisms. Sorry, I was just reading some stuff. Uh, will there be poisons? I, It's likely. Frantic typing and quiet Sean suspicious. Yeah, yeah. Yoshikami, I read that, I read that as the, uh, the monster in the Oh man, what what was it called again? Oh man, what was what was the name of that? <sighs> Summoner, Summoner Two video. Are there gonna be girls there? I'm accepting bribes. That's what you think is going on on my elder monitor. I should be so lucky. Goblin, are the are the changes that you're that you're thinking about for the night market structural or cosmetic? Cosmetic mostly, but uh, uh, with a bit of structure. To the structures or the layout? Quote my cousin playing P99 yesterday. Why can't Monsters and Memories be out now? You know, if we could, we we would. Do you think we'll be able to keep our tunes uh, from the test the other day for the 36-hour test, by the way? Uh, unsure. We'll, we'll let you know. I think we're trying to be as accommodating as possible, but... 
Uh, who all is in here? Time set 6 a.m. Just so I can see. Um. All right. Cool. So I, there's the ship that Ollie has added. You see it's moving right now because I changed the time to six and it starts moving at 601. Zukin, if you're out there, if that wasn't you talking earlier, I, uh, I apologize for lumping you in with Goblin. Apparently it was Zarkin. Or was it Zukin? No, it was, it was, huh? I'm so confused about who was in here earlier. Was that you earlier? Okay, then maybe it was you. <laughs> Alright, so you see the ships working over there? Now I've got a ship that doesn't work. So let me see if I can make my ship work. Um, I don't know that the invisible wall is going to block that ship, but we'll see. We'll make it work. Um, can you be a full-time fisherman and open up a food truck along the coast? Uh, yes, you can. You absolutely can do that. In all seriousness. I know I, I'm a smartass a lot of times, but... Uh, Etris, if, you're, if that's your desire, you can, you can absolutely do that. I was a uh, complete side note, but you were talking about basically being a full-time uh, fisherman and opening a food truck. Um, I was showing Jasmine, my my wife. She, I don't, I think I've shown her a couple times before uh, the GTA Five roleplay server. Um, but I was showing her like was just watching one last night. Um, this guy playing a, a random cop, and it was hilarious. We wound up going to bed later than expected because we just were fixated on it was hilarious the shit that was going on here um that's a it's a pretty huge category on twitch do you guys ever watch any of that have you watched it i find it oddly compelling there's such a wide variety of people as well yeah the gta uh, gta roleplay stuff tell me all about it while i uh while i start looking at this Yeah, they've got like submissions and stuff there. Watch over years, very entertaining. Keebs, Keebs was doing. I thought you. I thought Keebs, you were participating in some role play in uh, on a on a different game, like a fantasy game. Keebs is still out there. Let me answer a question Brandon has really fast. Um, so he's got this guy targeted. Oh, okay. Why is the path and go to for this guy's coming up and gave you those go to's aren't for him, there is a guard there. There's a guard using a wander in volume there as well, with another passing through there using 
go to's. How many there's can I type in one sentence? Driving with no license straight to jail. Yeah, that was uh, that was what was going on last night with this guy. He was giving people speeding tickets and stuff. It was hilarious. Used to watch Kiki uh, watch Kiki channel on No Pixel. Yeah, No Pixel. I looked into that a while back, a few years ago. A few years ago, I was pretty interested in this. Bunny was telling me all about the phenomenon, um, and. It was interesting, they have like an application process and everything. Uh, pretty sure Rockstar ended up hiring a bunch of GTA RP people to uh, bring that in more with official support for uh, GTA 6. I can absolutely believe it. It seems like it's been fantastic for them. I mean, most of what's being watched on Twitch is role play, not, not just gameplay. Do you think that's, do you think it works because it's so modern and stuff? Do you think that's why it took off better than like Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption? Um, or is it just a byproduct of, you think it's proportional? Do you think it's like, I mean, GTA is the f biggest game in the universe. And so, naturally, you would have the biggest, um... <clears throat> the on-enter is for, uh, on-entering this state. And that is where we're going to play around right now. Shannon, Shannon says that um, it's their understanding there's just more to do, more player customization GTA that gives a big leg up. Yeah, it's an interesting mix because it feels like it's a good balance of they've got a solid enough foundation there. And it's very familiar that then with the customization on top of it, um, then it, it really works well. As opposed to, uh, you know, like the extreme opposite and would be like a second life or something where everything's just kind of built from the ground up. All right. So, um. Respond. And let me go back to my notes. <clears throat> Sadly, the Second Life RP, RP community is just dwindling. It's just an old platform. Um, did people not move over to, what was the new one called? They had like the new high graphics thing. Uh, one of one of my old studio heads, one of the old EQ studio heads that we had um, before we had Donham, uh, we had Rod Humble. I thought Humble was over there working with those guys for a while, or maybe it was maybe it was Jeff, one of the programmers. Nas, yeah, I could, um, I could see, I could see you change your mind pretty quickly on that one. Um, you think Rod worked on EQOA, oh, yeah, EQOA as well. Yeah, it was, um, EQOA was during his tenure. Let's see. So if we do multi-command, colon, movement. I need to get the coordinates. Okay, that's a fair point. We'll just leave this kind of janky and broke for now. Let's fly again. Fly, fly, fly and touch the sun. You knew, oh, 
What's up, Naris? New Rod from Subspace before he joined SOE with Jeff P. Yep. And I thought Jeff P wound up going over to um over to whatchamacallit the Second Life Company. Jeff did a lot of the engineering backend at the Second Life Company or uh, S SOE EQ. I remember when Jeff um, came in and like just exponentially improved the the EQ like networking and shit. He's also the one that wrote the um, EQ scripting engine. If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so we'll go here. We'll get a loke. Let's do it. Um, cool. All right. And then we'll bring this back up. I can't get this window to ever close. It, it just doesn't want to close. Let's do it. No, we don't. We don't have anybody from EQA on the, this project. Jeff is uh, the Jeff P in, in reference was just somebody we worked with at Sony at the time. All right, so negative three, nine, seven. Negative one, negative seven, seven, nine. And then speed, comma, no. Yeah, comma, speed six, comma, face. True. And we'll leave it at that. I mean, it's multi-command, but it doesn't necessarily need another command, does it? We'll see. Well, I mean, if we want to check multi-command to make sure that it's working, what I'll do is I'll just get another loc. May the waters run red with the blood of halflings. Mr. The Cow, what is wrong with you? Why are you... Why are you so vicious? You know, we'll do something crazy. Just because it's a stream. Let's do something crazy. We'll get... We'll get a loke up here. We'll have the... We'll have the ship jump in the air. He's got the mad cow. Man, whatever happened to that? Wasn't that like the biggest scare in the early 2000s? I couldn't... I couldn't donate blood because they were worried about the mad cow. I know it still exists, but remember everybody was like freaked out. They're like, have you lived on a military base in Europe during this time frame? Okay, you might have the mad cow. So you can't give the blood. And then later it's like, you have a lot of tattoos. You can't give the blood. So, all right, man, I'll just keep my blood then. Six, comma, six, comma, face, comma, true. All right, this will be the command. And then when is this guy going to pop off? We're going to make it, he, he's going to start it. Um, so it's going to be time. Oh, Six, a one, oops, a one as well. Let's see what happens. Um, are y'all gonna have bazaars or stalls to sell stuff at in town or an auction house? We're gonna have uh, the ability for players to sell, but um, 
not not the yeah not an auction house or whatever sorry i was just catching up with goblin said mad cow, mad cow fucked over my family big you're not gonna lie oh crazy interesting you have to if you're if you're okay doing it you'll have to uh fill me in on that sometime oh you know what goblin oh so don't let me forget i i have a secret secret mission question for you specifically that we'll have to talk about offline. All right, let's get off of real world diseases. I just realized that we're gonna we're gonna wind up getting into weird topics. So let's not let's not talk about that one. Not even space disease is grumpy because space diseases will just bring us back to Earth. Also, there may be some people in here that have had Swerpies and we don't want to space shame them. How come you never see any halfling zombies? We literally have a halfling zombie. Neris, have you not seen our halfling zombie? Are you excited? Here, let me... I'll, I'll dig it up for you. That pun was not intended. It really wasn't. <laughs> it was brilliant, though. Uh, let me find it. Let me find it. Uh, monthly updates. Fairly recent one. What month is it? You know, I'll just go to our updates page. It'll be faster. Monsters and memories updates. And I'll reload zone while I'm, while that's loading. And then... So we've got some, we've got some dope halfling skeletons. Did you see those? So those aren't just shrunken down skeletons. Look, that's clearly a halfling skeleton. What? What? The guys are on it. Um... Where was that? I don't think it was this one. Nope, those are badass lizards. I think skeletons. Where is it? I swear we've shown it. I don't think I'm like spoiling anything. That's all stress test stuff.
I don't think it was this far back, was it? Maybe it was. Oh, maybe it was. Here we go. Look at this guy. I mean, he's a bit, he's a bit mummy. Okay, maybe not just straight zombie. He's, but yeah. Oops, I guess I fell below the world. Brown Butcher says, greetings from standstill rush hour traffic. I'm sorry you're in traffic, buddy. When searching for people to work uh, on the project, do you post all over social media? I'm not sure where to search for talent in my project when the time comes. Honestly, we, we typically just mention it in Discord. We put a web page up um, and uh, we mention it in Discord and that usually in, in like on the streams and that's that. Just got back from Ahu. It's nice being able to drive like 15 minutes, miles in 15 minutes versus 90 minutes for six miles. Yeah, when I lived, when I lived in Austin, traffic was getting pretty gnarly. When I, when I lived in DC, traffic was really, really, really bad. Oh, looks like someone already did a time change. Ahu, the Hawaiian Island. Yeah, I, I was thinking that was probably it based on the name. You're on the DC Beltway right now, dude. It 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 was it was horrible in the '90s. I can only imagine now. Was it 395, 495, etc.? Oahu. Thank you, Death by Gnomes. So once once people actually look and see where Hawaii is, it's so crazy. It's so sketchy. It's these tiny little dots of land and this vast endless sea. I could not live there. I'd be so freaked out of just a giant tidal wave coming and removing me from the earth. You're welcome, Naris. All right, my boat, my boat works, and it's it's going into the sky, proving that the second command worked as well. Spelljammer, spell jamming into space. Hi, bike keeper. Skyships confirmed. When did we? When, when did we ever deny it? I mean, we've got a floating, we've got a floating island already. Do you think we weren't going, what, do you think we're just going to teleport people there? Cool, so that works. So then what happens when we... Set time. So does this guy need to? His <laughs> boats now fly. There will be nowhere Nick can find safety as they seek their revenge. Okay, so I need to... The water in Valheim when storms comes is so impressive. It's super cool what they do. They do so many fun little things there. I haven't played in forever, so it's going to be really fun when I get back in and play again.
Then... And Shroud also has some great gameplay loops. Really strong showing for a demo. Nice. Nice. Shannon said it was really cool to see a game like Valheim be successful. It was insane to see how successful. Had a lot of good fun there. So let me compare these and see what I'm not doing to clean up here. All right, so. I wonder how far I can, how far I can take this guy. Let's try that as well. So let's get a new log. Are there gonna be sky pirates coming for your sky booty? I can't tell you, that'd be a sky spoiler. Are there plans to have any type of flying things like hot air balloons, zeppelins, magical means of travel like wizard spires? Magical means of travel are already in. Um, flying things, uh, I would I would say don't be shocked. You know what was always really cool? Yashikami, when you when you followed earlier, did I say thank you for the follow? I don't think I did because we were too busy talking about uh, something weird. Oops. I'm going to fall. AVX that actually fly? Probably not. We would be faking that. Oh no! I'm drowning. It's sketchy in the water at night. It's sketchy in the water at night. Zone Night Harbor. I need to work on my boat. Should have sky krakens attack the sky ships? I think that's fair. And have them be attacked by skywids. Is water able to have different colors and different zones with different attributes? Yep. And less wavy, more wavy. Um. You can control the flow of it. So if you go over to Shaded Dunes, we have a little river and you can you can see that it's it's flowing. If you don't have Krakens, you'd be Krakalakin. Corvid, I'm I'm not sure about that one. There's my ship up in the air. Hey Sparrow, no no decorating today. We're doing we're do we're playing with boats. I 
subbed before the tax shenanigans, so I guess I'm special. Lesaba, I appreciate the I appreciate the effort. Hopefully you get a the the uh Twitch gives you your money back on that one, but I appreciate it. Thank you for five months. Will there be wide open underground spaces like giant caverns? Yep. That is the goal. Giant caverns, giant caverns containing seas, giant caverns containing lakes and rivers. Good idea for a mob in the desert would be a giant tentacle burst out of sand and eludes some greater cracking creature under the sands. Hmm. Rivers and lakes that you're used to? Underground? I don't know what you mean, Spiro. Oh, now I know what you mean. Rivers and lakes. Yep, now I get it. Now I get it. I'm a little bit off my TLC game today. I apologize. Now I'm going to be keeping an eye out for it. Don't go chasing tentacles. Rosary, thank you for the follow. Rosary said, hi everyone, been lurking a bit. I am so excited to join the stress test in December. Heck yeah. Thank you for being here. Don't go chasing tentacles. Be scared of the monster it's attached to. Is Pattis out there? I've got the feeling, did we add like a collider around here? I've got the feeling we did. Is, are there some giant colliders around the water? And can I work on the other side of the colliders? Rizri said, I've been playing TLPs of EQ since Holly was part of the team. Now I'm hooked on Quarm. This is just mind blowing. That's awesome. Reviewer, thank you for the follow. Please give me a a good score. No. All right. So, what I want to do is uh, Unity, folks. Is there any way? So, my when my ca camera is out here. Am I able to get, um, am I able to get a transform from this camera or should I just do something hacky and do something like place a volume or something and just get the coordinate off of it? Being up to line, something's here of you to do it. Okay, so I'll just, I might as well just place the thing, right? Um, 
Since I'm not going to save it, I'm curious if I could just grab like a whatever and put it in here. Like a orc capsule. No, I can't just... I can't just drag it into here. Um, I'll just do this. Hi there, buddy. You are going to be my helper today. <laughs> Never just grab somebody's whatever. It could be dangerous. It's true. I got to realize it's a different day and age. When I was a young man, it was cool. No one, no one minded. We just grabbed a whatever. These days, it's not as cool, man. You just can't do it. We've evolved. We're better for it, I guess. <clears throat> so if I start it, if I start it underwater. Cool. I'll get these coordinates and I'll put them in. <clears throat> Love this temple music. So chill. Yeah. Take a chance on me. Don't know why talking about whatever is just put me in a ABBA kind of mood. ABBA cadabra. Two, seven, one, seven. Uh, I can make a new menu option to copy the scene camera coordinates. That would be pretty. Oh, uh, yeah, because I, I mean, I could look at them on my clipboard. And I could paste them to something. But that, that seems like it'd be kind of helpful. I listen to so much 80s music during the day. Uh, do I need facing? Uh, it wouldn't hurt, just for completeness sake, John, that would be great. Any awesome bosses yet? Um, not to that degree. Not yet. Don't worry, they're coming for you. Uh -huh, uh -huh. No, I'm a, I'm a, um, I, I, I've, I have enjoyed some synth wave. Then again, there's also, I don't know, does it count as synth, synth wave? There's also some heavier stuff like. Here. Yeah. Do you, oh, that's considered dark synth. Okay. There we go. Carpenter Brute. Do you know Carpenter Brute? Talk about a fun show. I saw I saw a Carpenter Brute in um, in Hamburg a couple years ago, a few years ago, and uh, I'd been listening to them for a bit before that, and then saw them in Hamburg, and really, it was a great show. Odie said, dude, my friend just recommended Carpenter to me today. How funny. Interesting. Do you actually complain about the inverted crucifix? I can imagine. I could see you complaining about that. 
fair, fair. But it was still a good show. Don't know what to tell you, but it was. Uh, but I could, I could see you not liking a lot of the imagery, and that, I think that you know makes sense. It's fine. But it was a good show. <clears throat> Have I heard of Kasabian? Yeah, I listened to them a lot more when I was first working on like EQ in San Diego. So it felt like that was like early 2000s. Kasabian was a bit bigger. It was like Kasabian. Um, was it something in Abaddon? No, that was maybe that was the song, something of that. Um, and then that's when I was like listening to Modest Mouse and a bunch of other shit as well. Um, not Abaddon the band. Um, it was. Oh, who am I thinking of? Now I'm trying to find this damn. Pinback, that's who it was. So it was like Kasabian and Pinback and a bunch of other stuff because the album was Summer in Abaddon. And there are a couple good songs on there. Fortress was pretty good. Non Photo Blue. Okay. <laughs> I like that description. Abaddon is basically a raid boss in the Bible. <laughs> are jelly slimes in game? Not yet. Not for lack of love, um, I think Goblin will, will love to get them in. Okay, that's why Goblin's so quiet. He's talking to Harrison. How should facing be uh, formatted? Just the rotation around the y-axis? Uh, yeah. I noticed Unity does some interesting stuff where it's not it's not just like 365 degrees or whatever. It's 365, 360 degrees. I'm dumbass. I'm thinking of a calendar. Um, 360 degrees. You can use negatives and stuff. Uh, if it could, if it could basically work the same as Unity's, where I can do like a 90, negative 90. Or I guess I should say we, we can do that because it'll be a we thing. Ain't nothing but a we thing, baby. So, bo 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 And then, does it actually need a second state? I guess that it doesn't really need one. Exactly, Nas. X, Y, X, Y, and Z. No, no, no. Uh, it, uh, no, it just needs to, it needs to have the facing, um, around, around the Y. Cause I mean, we, we don't do anything other than X, Y, Z location. And then, yep. Are ogre monks temporary or are the ogres in game meant to be smart? Uh, the ogres rain. Nicodemus said Y rotation. There we go. That's the term. Corvid, uh, ogres range in their intelligence. Um, and the concept of a ogre monk is not temporary. They can be just the sheer brute violence, or they can be relatively disciplined and fairly intelligent. Uh, 
They got them street smarts. All right, so let's do this again. Oops, let's actually get a, yep, 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 yep. Let's get back in here. Oh my gosh. Speaking of derpy, that's me right now. I don't know where I left my corpse, to be honest. Maybe in this zone? Uh -oh. Summon, GM. And Dargus, maybe one of these days. <coughs> we'll go we'll go a little bit um we'll go a bit a little bit lighter on the choices for most races early on and then we'll we'll provide some potential means to unlock some potential combos. Goblin Monk would be so nice to see, except they I just don't see them having the discipline. Plan is to have an ogre dress wearing flower picking guy. Probably mageish. If that's your thing. I think no monks would be pretty cool. Spamling said, for us newer people, can you introduce yourself and what you do on the team? My name is Sean. I have been working on video games since early 2000. I started at a company called Variant slash SOE, Sony Online Entertainment. I was uh, in customer service for a little bit. Um, then I became an apprentice to an apprentice designer, and then I became an apprentice designer, and then a designer and then a design lead. And then I moved to Texas to work on DC Universe and worked at other MMOs, companies, designer for the first 11 years. And for the rest of the time, I've been a producer, executive producer or senior producer, executive producer, chief product officer, etc. cetera. Um, what I do on the team is a little bit of everything. I talk to you guys. I do some design work. I do some production work. When we were first starting in the first year, I did some artwork, believe it or not. I did uh, Shaded Dunes in the first version of Night Harbor, very simple version of Night Harbor, which is now just archived in the videos. Um, and then I blocked out blocked out sort of like when you go into Veil of Zentar where we watched that video earlier that block out and all around did like basic block outs just to try to get our imaginations going um and then we you know I, I I basically did some really hacky ass like designer art right like had little capsule dudes and did some animations and stuff so that's me that's my humble brag that's me patting myself on the back um and so, yeah, these days I primarily do um, design work, more contest, content focused. Um, I mean, we've got a number of people and we overlap um, and you'll see Nick does uh, a ton of design work and it's more systems heavy and then content folk or content work as well. Um, but also like we take we take sort of each take our turns doing kind of project managing stuff and we don't have a lot of project management overhead. We're not a very process heavy team. Um, but we like dabble in that and then you'll, you'll see like, uh, Nick's backgrounds QA, um, professionally. And so you'll see that in there, Ollie's backgrounds tech. And then as the team's, um, grown, but like all of us do design work and all of us have dabbled at placeholder art in the past. And then um, as the team's grown, we've gotten more people that are more focused on uh, tech or specific parts of art or um, design and, and things of that nature. So 
but behind the scenes we've got a pretty good chemistry it feels like there's not a there's there's not a lot of stepping on each other's toes and things of that nature so um that means that i don't have to be as producery um if anything some of the producer stuff that i do the probably the more beneficial or effective producer stuff that i do is like really behind the scenes shit you know it's like updating spreadsheet with you know our, our essentially our costs or whatever though we've been a little slack on that and ollie's been updating it or dealing with legal stuff or recruiting and then getting people sort of looped in with the right people and all that stuff so that's i mean that's that's a basic overview um of who i am and what i do here We are not actively looking at the moment. I would say the the maybe the closest thing that we've kind of still we've left the we had a role open. We added Bilth on the environment art side, um, and he's been focused on props. Um, the we've left that sort of environment artist role kind of open, low key. But what we'd really be looking for, if anybody is interested in that particular role, we'd really be looking for actual real experience as an environment artist with that being something that looks more like our game um and less like you know if you've if you've been working on eso or something like that and like hey i'd like to check it out that's cool uh but we'd really be concerned that you'd want to work in our style so if you're a really great artist and got experience and stuff like that you could probably twist our arm but orange bean said i've been meaning to ask this and was reminded due to the subject but do you guys have any plans for accessibility features in the future assistive technologies color contrast profiles and web developer focus on accessibility i've loved the shift in gaming to accommodate uh, at users um we've even got a page up on confluence to gather that information the first accessibility thing that we've done. So yes, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot that we learn. Um, we've learned a lot from the community with regards to accessibility. Um, but we are definitely, oh my gosh, Unity just got silly. It's definitely, you know, one of those things we have in our mind. Um, and so we've even done like, you know, our currently our chat font goes up to like something this big, you know, it's just huge. Um, but as we learned during the play test from Liz's feedback, it's just the chat font and not the other UI elements. So that doesn't help, but we've got some UI scaling and other stuff that could help. But yeah, later on, uh, you know, making it easier to work with like text to speech and all sorts of stuff. And yeah. Uh, Brown Butcher said, I'm going to read this one out for sure. Make me blush. Oh, Brown Butcher's wife. My wife has been hearing you talk for months. Finally grabbed my phone to see what you look like. She says you're hot. Not what she expected. My voice isn't hot. Man, now I feel bad. Everybody's been telling me my voice is my fe uh, best feature. Um... <clears throat> really did make me blush a little bit jeez i do got the vapors <laughs> i do shmodai i'm not uh, ooh, let me drink a little bit it's a little bit warm uh, it's a little warm in this in this flannel but now i'm afraid to take it off i don't want people getting too excited um orange bean you're very welcome john said Eminem copy scene camera transform option pushed. Gives the format XYZ facing. Let me know if that format needs to be different. Awesome. Thank you. I will pull in a minute and check it out. All right. So, oops. Slash reload zone. Take it off. Well, when we get the only gnomes website when we finally shell out the 2800 dollars for the only gnomes then i will oh uh i'll start my special streams
that'd be the Christmas present. The community is going to get together and be like, <laughs> we, we all chipped in. We bought this domain for you. Just buy it. I don't have 2,800 bucks to the... Liz, I don't think you realize how shoestring this budget is over here. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a hard one to justify. I mean, maybe right before the shop goes live, I could see justifying it. Or using the first 2,800 bucks we make off of like merch to buy it, I could see that. Um, Zarkin said, have you thought about how often you might want to release new content once the game's released? Would it, um, just be done through something like expansions? Um, it'll be a mix of probably live updates, a shorter cycle of live updates along with, um, sorry, time set 6 a.m. Oh, what? Um, short cycle updates along with bigger modules. So, which ship is that? That's Ollie's ship. This is my ship. So I, I need to reload zone again, I guess, just to see, just to see how this thing loads in here. Apologies to anybody that's in the zone trying to work. Oops. Come on, keyboard. So... Time set 5 a.m. And then reload zone. Riding the ship may cause some bad things to happen to me. That ship. The other ship I think works fine. But the ship I just added is probably not the one. Now said, I'll buy three mugs, one for misses, one to drink out of, one for display. Right on. Yeah, we figure we figure some folks will buy some stuff. But again, it's not we're not at the stage where we feel comfortable taking your cash for anything. Hey, Maylist. Uh, Ali, yeah, so far the test has been working. Now I'm just kind of playing around to figure out what I'm, what I'm not figuring out. Um, Ali, I have two questions. One, I'm fairly certain my, sh my ship just starts moving without the trigger time being active. Which it kind of makes sense, right? Because it's that's that's a transition time, not a static. No, guess not. Um, and then and then I was just uh, I, the next thing I'm gonna check is making it go even further. But so far, it's been moving, Ali. Um, it will enter and immediately move. Transition takes it to the next state. Oh, oh, so I would put it, I would put it into like a placeholder, just holding path in state one, and then use the time to get it to start doing stuff. That makes sense. 
I'm sure you explained that thoroughly and I just, I just, it, I just, it glazed over. Oh man, looking prettier and prettier with the, uh, the props and lights and stuff that Bilt has added. Digital 130, thank you for the follow. Hang a lamp on one of those boats. Corvid, that is a good idea. We do need a little light on the boat. Then we can see him moving in the night. I like that a lot. That is a really good idea. See, people are like, people ask why we're able to move so quickly at times. And it's because we stream. We have so many great ideas come in all the time. Will money have weight? Uh, Spamling's money does have weight. Dargit said all my ideas are golden. Mm. Can't argue with that. So once this boat looks kind of cool with regards to to where it's uh where it's going over here, and then we'll add some more because I I, I thought it I, yeah. I thought it would look really cool if um, if we just had like some nice, you know, it's a it's it's a harbor city. It'd be nice if we had some like nice ambient boats moving around. The boat with the lights on it. That's a great idea, though. I'm really glad you suggested that. Let me write that down so that in case no one reminds me. Fishing vessels, trader ships. Yeah, once once we uh and see now it's flying because I made it fly. I should probably I should probably fix the flying part. All the best boats fly, honestly. Toucan, yeah. Um, if you guys, if you guys, i tell you what, just keep an eye out. You never know what you might see during the playtest. How about that? Okay, so... Uh, before I grab John's latest change, what I'll do is I'll just grab my little cheater cube over here. <clears throat> All hail the giant text box in the sky. Yeah. That'll work. That'll that'll. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it down here. It will simulate disappearing into the horizon. That's what it will do. I think we need a we need a hill static that looks at us from across a hill giant static that looks at us from across the river. <laughs> That'd be funny. Zukin. All hail the giant text box, Zukin's response. Talk about accessibility, am I right? Brunch. Playtest should start with a giant picture of Sean's head in the skybox that screams, <laughs> screams, show us what you got. 
It needs all of our heads up there. Bobbing around. All right, so let's update these coordinates. Should have NPCs with our faces on. Just wearing them. Kind of Ed Gein style. Or is it Ed Gein? Is that too dark? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I went there. That was a Slayer reference. Awesome song. Never too dark, I'm British. <laughs> Just like our summers. Crumpet. Malis Jasmine brought that up today. <laughs> this morning. <laughs> Mouth crimes. <laughs> She's still upset that you consider her pizza, her, her preferred pizza, mouth crime. The Sava said would look like Goldeneye. Yeah, some of those old, old game textures were a little spooky. Speaking of ships, has the team ever considered having uh, like an artificer, gadgeteer type class, or does that not fit with the world lore you want to achieve? Mm. I mean, if we are, uh, I think we'd want trade skills to probably cover a lot of that. And then the, the question is just really kind of on the, yeah, I think trade skills would, would cover a lot of that. Though at some point we may we may throw in some weird classes. Hey, Pattis. GM side oh, GM food one thousand. What's up, character? How you doing, buddy? Pineapple, why are you, why are you invoking the safe word, Ollie? Do not throw the pomegranate. <laughs> I saw a quick video on YouTube the other day that was like, or maybe it was Instagram, and it showed me the proper way to open a pomegranate. Yeah, it was actually shocking how easy they made the whole thing that's usually a disaster. Every time I've opened a pomegranate, it's a pomegranate. Am I right? So if you're truly interested, Malus, so if you look at the top of it, you, you basically just do like four-way cut to pop off the top. Right, just pop, 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 you know, the little square to pop off the top. And then you can see where the, essentially where the, the, 
dividers are within it. And so then you just cut along the divider. And then, boom. It's not fake news, Ollie. It's not fake news. You've tried it a couple times. Ollie, it's not fake news. You just don't have knife skills. You need a better knife. Ollie probably does know. Ollie probably has grown a million pomegranates on his farm. Ollie says, I have excellent knife skills. I bet you do. <laughs> that sounds like a threat. Dargis, why? Because he's from Bahrain. He's already threatened me with his his earlier comment. Ali said, "Pro tip in Arabic, grenade is the same word as pomegranate." I don't even know what we're talking about, Ali. I feel like you're threatening me. You picture Ali rocking a knife like a, I. Like a chef master. I was, uh, oh, that, that, <laughs> that ship just, that, that does not look like it's disappearing into the, uh, into the horizon. That just looks like it, it sank. My ship sank. Yeah, that, so my plan didn't work. You know, that's, hey, that's part of what we do here. We try things and then, uh, they don't work. That's what I do. So you can say new trade idea, pomegranate opener, plus five slashing, plus five piercing. Reminds me of Captain Jack Sparrow. We'll have to have a ship somewhere that actually you get on it and it, it sails and it just goes down and you're still standing on it and it's under the water. And then an air bubble goes around it. And the air bubbles like, because the walrus captain's like, don't worry. And then boom. And then air bubble. And his goblin first mate is like, air bubble. And then the, and then the, the, the monkey who runs the cannons goes, Rasputin. And the monkey fires a confetti cannon as the air bubble appears. So the confetti's flying around inside the air bubble as they're going, you're going underwater. And then it takes you to the underwater city. Oh my gosh. That's going to be cool when we do it. Cataclysm did that? Oh, it's already been done. Apparently, there's already been confetti cannon monkeys and air bubbles in... in Cataclysm, so... I didn't play Cataclysm, so I didn't know. I thought I was being original. <clears throat> Rasputin? True story. One of the things that we wanted to, what we wanted to do back in the day when our producer, Robert Fister asked us what we wanted. Um, and I thought it was a wee thing. Maybe it was just a me thing. I don't know, Jonathan, if you're on the team yet, but we wanted to have a, uh, we wanted to have a team monkey named Rasputin with a confetti cannon. Dargus said, my body is, my body is ready for more Zookin particle effects. So, I think, I think Zookin would like nothing more than this spend probably an entire week just cranking out effects. How did I know that you sang it exactly like that? Because that's how it's sung. That's how it's sung. I didn't make that up. My body. Squeeze a gnome and they shoot out <laughs> particle effects. It's not true. That's dirty. All right. So 
let's update that position on the thing. We'll do it one more time. I think this will look good and then we'll, we'll start replicating this a little bit. And then what we'll also do is we'll set the states up properly so that they pause and then start and or, you know, maybe we won't do that. We'll just have them moving because that's more fun. And then I can clean this stuff up later. Um, no NPCs on a ship yet. Ollie's still got to work on that. Nicodemus said, isn't life like that, though? You come up with ideas and one minute search on Google lets you know, nope, you're not going to be a billionaire. Not original. I don't feel deflated at all because what I've learned is... Most ideas aren't original and most people don't care. So if we want to have a, if we want to have an air bubble surround a ship as you go to a sunken city and a walrus captain with a monkey that shoots a confetti cannon that then just has confetti swirling around in the bubble because he thinks that's fun, then we'll do that. And most people won't know that that's already been done. Ali said, check Monsters and Memories Discord general for my knives. Listen, Ali, just because you own fancy knives does not mean you know how to use fancy knives. Those are some nice knives. Ooh, look at that damn fillet knife. Mmm. Ali said, I've used every single one of those in the commercial kitchen, mister. Yeah, I'm going to stop talking shit because I know, I know for a fact that you, uh, you've done legit, legit ki kitchen work. Ali, when I come over there, what are you going to, what are you going to cook for me? What fancy, and it, it better not be falafel because falafel is awful. But you know what would be good? Um some of this delicious lamb you've told me about because I never like it when I have it other places, but you said that it could actually be tasty and not suck. <laughs> Dull knives, equipment de delay is bullshit and lazy design, character said. Dude, I love all the things that get, that, that, uh, get acute, that, that get labeled, uh, lumped into the that is lazy design. I'm like, all right, chief. Dull knives, equipment decay is bullshit and lazy design and does not respect my time as a player. Sorry, anybody in Night Harbor that I keep reloading the zone on. My blue scimitar, scimitar? Not a scimitar. Scimitar I've used in the butchery. Oh man, yeah, it looks like you could definitely hack some meat with that. Did you did you walk down to your kitchen and like arrange your knives just to show me? You're like, I'll show you, smart ass. I'm like, alright, Ollie. All right, this will be the last time we watch this ship sail by and then we'll we'll work on some other stuff. But having a long long sort of period of checking our work like this is great to keep up on chat. Where are those ships going? Oh, you know, soft world building. Actually, these are, I can't tell you where they came from, but I can tell you. Oh, by the way, I didn't see what you did, but repop is enough to get the statics reloaded. Oh shit, that's, that is wonderful. I will be about a thousand percent less disruptive to everybody else now, Ali. Thank you. And then after this, I'll also grab John's latest change and then we'll do some other work. Nicodemus. 
ships passing in the night. It was the best of streams. It was the boats of streams. If I missed it, would you say that ship has sailed? Yes, Sparrow, I would say that. No, I, I wasn't I wasn't clever enough to say that. But now that you've said it, I'll steal it. Because that's how I work. Sean, what would you say is the hardest part of game design? Well, chat, I would say it's writing down all the ideas that I'm stealing from you. Shifty? Well, the, the Shifty Gnome is, is named after me. The Shifty Gnome is actually me. Nick put that in for me. Because we were playing on... I think we were playing on P99? Maybe Eridune? And somebody called me a shifty-ass gnome. While we were rescuing them, we were literally saving these dummies. They were the ones that got stuck in a jail cell, and I just... They were stuck in a jail cell, and... I forget what race they were, human or something, they couldn't get out of the jail cell. And I just walked right between the bars. I forget where it was. Like Droga or something like that. I just walked right in the cell with them because they were like, Hey, can you guys go hit that switch and open this? Or can you like pull a mob over here or something like that? I don't think it was Befallen or, or Najina. Yeah, you think so? Maybe. Maybe it was then. I thought it was over in Kunark somewhere. Maybe that was it then. I guess that would make sense. So anyways, I just walked right in. <laughs> They're like, what is this shifty ass gnome doing in here? I'm like, excuse me? That was probably it then. It was Eridun and Kunark. See, I was right, guys. Nick's got my back. <clears throat> That's funny. That is funny. Dargus, straight to jail. You see right over here? You see those windows? Those are jail cells. And somebody gave me a great idea earlier. That if you guys are being too, um, if you're, you're being a little too much before the uh, before the testing period we're just gonna put some locked doors in here and then we're just gonna have your character spawn in here right in the jail cell but really it'll be the ones facing in so that you can look at everybody having fun while you're stuck in jail for being an asshole <gasps> did he really just say that yes it's our company and so if the team has a problem with me talking to you in that manner, they will let me know. But until such time, I will say that it is feasible that sometimes you guys are assholes. And we do make note of it. And now there's a plan. We have we have little we have little jail rooms. We have little jail rooms, but like under the world and stuff, we're really bad offenders, but man. Wouldn't that be something? You log in, you've been waiting until December, it's December 9th, and then you realize. Niche World's Colt, Potty Mouth Company. Oh, I like that branding. I need to update LinkedIn. <laughs> Gotta update LinkedIn. Niche World's Colt, Potty Mouth Company. LOL, you think you would cry on stream? It is pretty rough. Oh man, there it goes. The ship is sailing off in the distance.
We should put that in our email signatures. <laughs> oh, I got a whole list. In quotes, a shifty ass gnome's lexicon of offending assholes. <laughs> if that's not a rare item in game, I don't know what should be. That'll wind up in eco, along with our design doc. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, click the link. Chocolate Don said, as someone that played EQ since the start through Omens, I'm so excited for this game. I was max AA top to Raid Shaman. Love the dedication and love y'all are putting into this. And sometimes when I lack dedication, I put a little extra love in, but... <clears throat> Sometimes, Sparrow, sometimes, sometimes. I didn't say all fans and all the time. I just said sometimes y'all know what you do. Chinny. <laughs> Chinny D says, if anyone gets imprisoned, I'll be sure to roll an ogre. Hmm. Let's see where you're going. Cool, all right, so that works. And the ship's off in the distance. Beautiful. See what happens? This is why I didn't, I watched my language for so long. Now you guys are just going crazy with the asses. Just because I said ass. Sassy time from one square, exactly. It's like elementary school in here. Oh, Sean said assholes. Everybody, Sean said assholes. Ass, 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 ass. I just picture you like a bunch of gnomes and, and goblins out there bouncing around. Chinny D's. Yep, yeah, only goblins, the entire fleet out there bouncing around. I wish I could do a high pitched. I wish I could do a high pitched. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> Big sorry, you just said all of you straight to Astro. <laughs> That's what it's going to be called now. Oh man. Oh, I love you guys. Thank you for making my. Th <laughs> Is it Thursday? It feels like my week just begun based on the wonderful energy that you guys are projecting. Ass energy. Oh man. I'm hoping this is so many people's first VOD. They're like, you know what? Sarah, I think we need to check out this Monsters and Memories. It's probably, the kids are gonna like it. It's gonna be a, it's a fun game for the whole family. We need family night, you know? We haven't been doing it very much, Sarah, and we need family night again. Monsters and Memories. Let's check out this video on demand of Monsters and Memories. Ass Jail. Ass Jail. Uh. You guys wanted to see what it's like making video games. And this is what it's like behind the scenes at a good video game company. If, you're, if your video game company isn't having conversations like this one on the regular, you're probably at a boring ass video game company. Don't know what to tell you. Wiggity Wizard, thank you for the follow. Oh, sweet pot. Oh, man, he smells so good. All right, buddy. Good night. Oh, man. And I shaked, I shaked the covers extra, extra, extra today, just so you, we could get some of the fur off. One more. <laughs> there he is. There's a little buddy. Ash jail, the clip, of course. Beautiful. That's why I like technology and Twitch. Can you start a fight in jail asking for a friend? 
if I win, do I get experience? Justin Beard? Maybe. Cornbread? Maybe. Later. That'll be a, that'll be our only cosmetic item. Well, you'll go. Well, basically, we'll have two people picked randomly from jail cells. They'll appear in our underground fighting pit that we've got. It'll be PvP. Loser goes back to jail. Fight for your freedom. Oh. What did wizards say? My fair zone and EQ is a waste of, of Mars. I'm loving what I'm seeing so far. I don't think it was unintentional. I think Wiggity Wizard is a freestyle rapper. How do you fight in ass jail? Fart fights? Oh, Sparrow. I am surprised. I am shocked. I am shocked at you. Oh, Sparrow. That was cheeky. Nice. I've had to jail two characters, same person, during the stress test for some really bad language. Yeah, I've got to get a little bit quicker on the... I need, like, the... the I need to get my hotkey set up on uh, stress test day so I can hit them with the mute and all that stuff. Drowned to death, I just bound them there and left. <laughs> Love it. Zukin said, hey, farts are not allowed, apparently. I learned this, now you must all learn it, but ass is okay. <laughs> I didn't say they weren't allowed, Zukin. I think you took that a little, you took it the wrong way. I said that it was a bold move that you allow people in your chat to push a fart button. Bold. I didn't say bad. I didn't say I disagreed with the concept. I did not say you shouldn't do it. Zukin, Zukin, are you trying to gaslight me? <sighs> okay, so I'm going to grab latest. On a more serious note, boy, today really is Thursday. We're in a Thursday kind of mood. The fault of darkness, Justin Beard. Liz Kimber said she got lucky on the fart RNG. Nas. You am wild. You're a wild one. Immature jokes will always be funny your whole life. We'll all... <laughs> I'm not reading that out loud. I don't even know if that should be allowed in chat. Ollie, you're taking it too far. Bananatron, what's going on? I like it. I like it. If anybody doesn't like it, I've, I don't know what to tell them. I was offended. I came here to see some serious, massively multiplayer online role-playing game development, and you guys were just talking shit. Nope. Farts. Talking shit would be too much. 
Poor Nick. He's sitting there going, man. Man. Actually, I think he, he wants to be he wants to be right up in here. This is development. Sometimes it is like this. It is like this. Do you have a rough idea of when some of the deep races will be worked on? Uh, unsure, Innocent, but the, the races have been coming along pretty quickly. Goblin was showing off one today. Hmm. We'll see about that. Right on, Orange Mean. Do you get Goblin in trouble? Probably. Don't forget to remove your cube. Um, I th think it's removed on its own. I, I'm fairly certain I didn't save it, but worst case, it's in the volume DB and I'll just delete it. I'll delete it. All right, so. Let's get back in there. Oh my gosh, my hand gets so sore from being on the keyboard all day right now. Oh. That gnarly finger is not helping me out. If you're a race that is KOS in town, they should just put you in jail instead of killing you? No. No, but I think they should just kill you. Uh, has the finger gotten any more flexible? Nope, it has not. It is it is pretty bad off. So I've got an appointment to see. I did do the exercises and uh, they don't work. So I, I, I talked to a doctor and he's sending me straight to a surgeon. So I've got um, I've got an appointment. Not very soon, unfortunately. Like to, uh, I think it's is it. Into December, early January. But if an earlier appointment pops up on my app, I'm going to take it and see if I can get in there. Mr. Sean, what the heck happened to your finger? Remember you seen a cast? So I, I broke this finger, my ring finger. Um, and it just with the pinky being immobile. And I swear I tried to move it a bunch and stuff while it was, well, you know, whenever I took the cast off, um, just from being immobile, something happened in the, the, this, I guess there's like a sheath or whatever for the tendon. Um, it got inflamed and stopped this tendon from doing its job properly. So now this tendon on top is overcompensated and now I got, I've got a uh, witch finger. Yeah, so we're going to get it taken care of. Ollie does have knives, and that, that's my plan B on this. Um, Nas, I appreciate that, buddy. Plan A is to, like, I, I may go to a different clinic and see if they can just hit it with some, uh, some cortisone real quick and see what happens. And then, um, and then if they can't do that or it doesn't work then the surgery should fix and if that doesn't work then I'm gonna I'm gonna visit Ollie uh, my wife's my wife's a dental surgeon so I've already told her if they if they can't get it to be mobile then uh, we may have to 
bring some work equipment home and get this thing fixed right on up. I mean, it's not like I don't have another one. Be more gaming. That's what I'm saying. I'm not. I'm not even joking about it. Uh, is that a swan neck? It is a swan neck. According to the paperwork, I'd never heard of it before. But the uh, the, the 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 sorry, the doctor I went to said it is a swan neck deformation. Well, Nas, I have to get it out of the way. You know what I can't do with a finger like this very well? I can't do... It's kind of hard to put a boxing glove on that. And it's a little hard to do any sort of grappling, jujitsu or whatever without this thing being in the way. I mean, I can tape them. I've had to tape my fingers a bunch in the past. But then it's still, without that flexibility there, um, I'll wind up breaking it or dislocating it pretty significantly. So I'm not trying to like talk about cutting it off to be cool. Um, I'm just saying I, it's just, it, it can't be that way given my lifestyle and, uh, hobbies, hobbies. So, well, I've got the feeling they'll be able to fix it. And if they, if they can't, then, uh, then I'll fly to Istanbul or something and get it taken care of. Oh, well, the finger's fine. I don't, I don't need to replace it. I just need the tendons to work. DC Raid Boss said, OMG, I missed it. You're going to tell me about your hardware. Um, yeah, hold on. Yeah, I get a robot finger. All right, Ollie, get some sleep, buddy. It's after midnight for you. Liz said, I had a metal pole and a bone for a few years. That was weird. I, when I looked at that at a glance, I was like, did we just shift topics? I was like, why is Liz talking about metal? Uh, uh, I mean, what you do as a vocation, no one's... Oh, did, have I had the stress test player count up the whole time? And no one told me? Or did I just do that? Guys, guys, you're hoping that was a sign? Well, that's, I didn't mean to do that. I, I'm not, I don't try, I'm, I'm not trying to be cruel to you. The whole time. That's why you guys are sticking around and being so excited tonight. You thought something sneaky was happening. Nope. Nope. Sorry, guys. Next time you gotta let me know. I was like, why are these, why are they being so excited tonight? All right. Wiggity Wizard, um, not at the moment. I mean, it never hurts to hang out in our Discord and build relationships and get to know folks and all that stuff, but not at the moment. All right, so John, where did you add? Where did you add that? 
if you're still out there, buddy. If it's in Slack, I haven't seen it because I'm not. Okay, in the m, &M menu. That makes sense. I guess I probably should have looked there. Okay, and back to the question. Um... about what hardware I'm using. DC Raid Boss. Uh, what was your curiosity? Like processor RAM video card or? Just like how powerful it got to be to fly through the world like that. Um, I am running, you've got to understand, I I care so little about my hardware. Uh, no offense, computer, please don't blow up or anything. Um, I, I al almost always run a pretty old machine. And so I've got... Um, my computer's a few years old. I've got... I've got a Intel i7-770. 4.2 gigahertz processor. 16 gigs of RAM. And I'm using a uh, GeForce RTX 2070 Super. With uh, 16 gigs of RAM as well. Um, my drivers are never updated. I clean it once every other month. Hey, Enoch. Oh, there's a different way. There's a better way to do this. There's got to be a better way. Um, any chance there'll be a view distance slider in the game by next play test? Oh, maybe, probably not, but it's, uh, it's worth noting. If anybody out there is noting, I can also make a note. Okay, thanks, Keith, because I can't read my chicken scratch half the time when I'm done. Um, the other one that's come up a lot is uh, mouse sensitivity. Invert mouse. I think we had issues for these already.
orange being if possible as well different color profiles for ultra vision now you're getting carried away though zealous may be listening been cloned. They're on the uh, the feedback on that has been received. I saw Zealous was commenting, responding to some different feedback of that nature in Discord. Those of you that are not in our Discord and chatting and giving feedback and all that stuff, you should join our Discord. If anybody out there, I always forget that sometimes we have new new people come in, um, especially when we're doing about thirty minutes of just talking about ass jail. So, um, if you're really new to the project and want to learn something about it, there's our website. Join our mailing list. I think we're creeping up on like 5,000 people on the mailing list. Where are we at on the mailing list? MailChimp. What's going on with the mailing list? Mailing list, tell me all about yourself. Mailing list, where do you see yourself in five years? Yeah, we're at, we're at about 4,500 subscribers on the mailing list. That's nice. So that means we're, we've got more people in Discord than we got on the mailing list. Over 5,000. What are we at? Like 5,500, 5,400 in Discord now? Let me see. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Will there be milk and cookies equivalent to ESO, like Shady Gnome Brew or Biscuit? I'm not, I don't get the reference, so I'm just going to say yes. If they can do it, we can do it. Corvid, you're trying to get me in trouble. I'm not going to play along. Not playing your silly games. Someone riddle me this, and yes, I get it, passion, but why Project Quorum? Like, why would anyone put all that together and work with Daybreak? Um, I assume it's required with IP. Uh, don't make that assumption to make a free server. Like, why not? It's it's a good enough uh, concept. It goes up through pop. Got, um... It's got a nice 
slower progression. No chronos. Why do why do all that? Just love of the game. Love of the community, I guess. Is it so bad that someone out there loves you? Well, oh, there's gain. The 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 gain of bringing joy to the hearts of nerds. That's nice. Gain experience running a server, modifying things, plus community. That's also fair points. A lot of good experience in the emulator community for sure. Another thing I wanted to ask, Orange Bean says, I started P99 for my first ever EQ playthrough the other week, no maps either, and that was, uh, was that the right choice? I know it's subjective. Um, depends on what you're looking for. I think, I would think that you'd probably run into a more active, lower level community on, um, on Quarm. Let's try this out. So if I'm, if I'm here, it'll be interesting to see how well I can judge, how well I can judge where I'm at with the camera, but it'll at least allow me to easily get in a ballpark. Um, does the river next to the city have a name yet? It does. It may change, but it does have a name for the time being. What you guys talking about? I'm debating on why do anything if you don't get paid. I'm just saying. Made me wonder. They don't get anything except satisfaction, I believe. Some people... Some... People have trouble getting that. I must appear very new, though, because people are super kind on P99. My experience on P99 the whole time has been wonderful. I know people talk about toxicity and meanness and at the high level especially, but for those of us that aren't up there raiding, 
it's been nothing but pleasant. I have thoroughly enjoyed all of my time on P99. Um, Be More Gaming says, I'm sure this has been asked a thousand times already, but where do you guys stand on multi-boxing? Man, Nick's so good at answering this one. I'm just, I'm going to leave that one for him. Uh, ping him on Discord. Or, 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 you could search Discord for the topic. It has been hit on a fair bit. I don't want to tackle it here because it get, people get emotional. People get emotional when you talk about multi-boxing, Smokey. Orange Bean said, I'm currently parked in Unrest, and the monster models in there are awesome. Probably my favorite so far. Unrest is a very inspirational place. People with vast knowledge of quests and EQ or gods, there's so much uh, out there when you dig and it's mind blowing. Um, if you guys aren't familiar, one one cool place to get EQ lore is to hit up um, Level Up Larry. has got some great videos on YouTube. Um, that's, that's a great starting point. Does Bobby, does Bobby still have videos up on YouTube of EQ lore? <clears throat> Thought he was doing some as well at one point. Upon launch, can we expect an active in-game GM presence like the old days of EQ? Yeah. Yep, absolutely. And even if we don't have customer service yet, you can guarantee we'll be running around. Corey said Bobby Bick, he's got videos up, um, hasn't been uploaded in two years. The old ones are still good. Check out Bobby Bick stuff. Uh, Michael Shenanigans videos are hilarious, pure genius. I wanted to do an interview with him, but he uh, he's too shy. <clears throat> How would someone apply for such a job? Uh, customer service? Will accounts be limited to one character? Spamly. 